Hi there, Grade 12s, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at calculations with dates. Now, this is specific to queries, so I'm going to use an example. Um, we will be looking at these calculations inside of queries. So, uh, the two I'm going to be looking at, and I'll bring another one in as well. Um, it'll follow the same process, so just stick with me. Number one, we're looking at num days, right? If we're looking at the number of days, um, in the example that I'm going to show you, and let me just um, open that, and then you can see where I am. That query, right. So there you can see I've got a query, I've got the type of animal, I've got the pet name, the date rescued, and the date adopted. So obviously, I'm going to be dealing with the date rescued and the date adopted. All right. So if I'm looking at the number of days, I'm going to take the date that the animal was adopted. And I'm going to subtract it from the date the animal was rescued. Bear in mind, you'll see I'm using square brackets. When we deal with field names, we put them inside of the square brackets to indicate that this is a field name that we are using. Okay, so when we use this formula, it's going to determine the number of days between the two dates. The data type will be number. Okay, that's going to be important. Then if we want to calculate the number of months, we um, please everything over here, this num days and the, the colon, that's going to be the name of the new field that we are going to create. Because remember, when we create a calculated field, we're creating a new field with a calculation inside of it. Now months will indicate the, or give us an answer with the number of months between the two dates. Data type will be number. <clears throat> Please also remember the following. The date adopted and, you know, date rescued, that's all fine. But then we, when we divide that by 365 and multiply that by 12, why are we using that? Because or not all months contain the same number of days, the number of years is calculated first, divided by 365, and then we multiply by 12 to get the number of months. Okay, I hope you're with me so far. Right, let's go and look at our example. Let's go see what we can do over here. All right, so we've got our query. Obviously, we're going to go into our design view. And now inside our design view, they're saying to us, uh, they want us to open the database and um, they want us to create a query. Okay, we've already got the query there. Now they want us to calculate how many days each animal spent in the center. Now, how are we going to know that? We're going to have to take the date the animal was um, rescued and subtract that from the date the animal was adopted. Okay, so we want to work out the number of days. So I'm going to go num days. It doesn't have to be num days. Um, we can say also number of days, colon, because that's going to be the name of the new field. Then what am I going to do? I'm going to take the date the animal was rescued. So date underscore rescued. Now, why am I typing that in that way? Because whatever the name of the field is, if this is my field date rescued, it has to be typed out exactly like that. Otherwise, it's going to kick up an error. Okay. And then my next field was date adopted. And I'm going to say, well, that applies to the animals table. Don't need to sort it over here. My property sheet, please, if this does not come up over there, we go to show hide in our query design tab, property sheet, format, and I say I want it as a number. All right, then I can go and run my query. And there you'll see I've got my answer. But do you see that they're all in negatives, right? Which means I need to swap that around. So please be aware of that. So number of days. Uh, now I just change that to date adopted minus date rescued. Make sure it's the correct table. Run the query. And there I've got the number of days. Now have a look at this. You see it says 
number of days. Why? Because that's what I typed in. That's what I'm saying to you. What You can type in anything you want over here because that's going to be the name of the particular field. Let's go to the next one. They want us to calculate the number of months each animal has spent in the center. So let's say number of months. Let's just have a look here. If I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> number of months. Put in my colon. And again, I'm going to say date adopted. And I'm going to subtract that from date rescued. Cool. Okay. Now, I wanted number of months. Now, what did I say? Let me just go over here to my formula. What did I say over here? When I want the number of months, I've got to then divide it by 365 and then multiply that by 12. So let's do this in steps so that we don't get it wrong. So I've done that. I'm going to say animals and I'm going to run my query. Okay. And it's going to give me those days. Right. We go back to design view. I'm going to go back in here. And now I know that that section works. Right. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to go and divide by 365 and multiply by 12. However, what I'm also going to do is make sure I've got my brackets in place. And you're going to see why. Remember now that when I looked at my formula, you see it's date adopted minus date rescued, but that I've now got in my normal brackets, those curved brackets, because whatever that answer is, it's going to be divided by 365 and multiplied by 12. Okay. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay. Let's go back. Let's run our query. Saying there's something wrong there. Let's go and have a look. Number of months. Okay, now you see what happens. All that is fine. And we've got our numbers over here, but we don't want to display like that. This is why we have to go to our property sheet. Format that and we can just format it as a standard number. We can say we don't want any decimal places. Run it again. And there we go. Now we can see our number of months. Okay. All right. Let's look at one more. Uh, this one wanted the years since adoption. And we would have to take date, open and close bracket. In other words, giving us the current date and subtract that, let's say, from the date adopted or date rescued rather. Do that one. Okay. Now, we want the number of years. So I'm going to divide by 365. Just make sure your brackets are in place, guys. Right? Your curved brackets. I'm just to see there. My curved bracket in place. Make sure what it's based on. And run it. Right? Sometimes it just remove any spaces that you pick up there and the query and again again we can see what's happening here what do we need to do we didn't do anything in our formatting format is a standard number we say we don't want any decimals and there we go this is the year since adoption that's between um, the date they were rescued and today's date, right? If you look here, you'll see today's date because we are using 
date open and close bracket, which will give us the current date. Okay, and this is how we, we basically do calculations um, within our queries, specifically with dates.